Nearly six months since the city began installing new smart parking meters around Oahu. Our Aaron Coogan joins us live from Honolulu to provide an update to the system upgrade and address some of the community's ongoing concerns. Aaron, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Julia. Well, it was just about this time last year that more than 2,200 city meters were out of commission. The Department of Transportation Services upgrading some of the technology from 2G capabilities to 4G capabilities. But now it's a different story today. 3,000 of those city meters now upgraded to that technology. Now, I do want to address some of those persisting community concerns that you mentioned. This is an example of one of the smart meters here. Not unfamiliar to any frequent commuter. We've got the credit card payment capabilities here tap to pay. We also have some notation of some mobile payment options, but the real concerns have been on the back half of this meter. This is a camera looking device that some people raise questions and concerns. What data is the city tracking on my vehicle? What data is are they tracking about my parking habits? Are they taking photos? And the short answer from DTS is no. These camera like devices are actually not cameras at all, but rather sensors that city law enforcement can use to monitor a stall's occupancy. And it just tells us if someone's there or not. And so that way we can look, we have a mapping system on the back end, which shows us, you know, for instance, what we're looking for is if a space is occupied, but then not paid. Um, and then we can know that in real time and that enables HPD to have that information as well so that they're not just wasting their time looking at random locations. They know where maybe there's a grouping of people who are parking without paying uh, and they can use their time wisely. Important revenue information critical as city metered stalls typically bring in about $5 million annually. And during those first few months of the year when collection was not being enforced, the city lost upwards of more than $1.7 million. Now, not only there to keep parkers accountable, but also technology that can be really beneficial for the Honolulu driver themselves. That's what we're going to be talking about in the next half hour for now. Reporting live, Aaron Coogan, TV 4 Island News. We're back right after this.